But they always seem to ask, why did you drop out of university? I'll share it with you. Maybe it'll get out of the way and they'll stop asking. Basically, uh, I was studying mathematics in Manchester. Now, that's reason enough for some people, but that is not the reason. <laughs> I'll give you a bit of detail. In particular, we were studying these things called perfect numbers. OK, and I'll explain that very briefly. A perfect number is a number that is equal to the sum of its own divisors. OK, and I think I might have lost two or three of you there. I'll give you a bit more information. I'll give you an example. Six is a perfect number. The divisors of a number are the whole numbers that divide into it neatly without leaving any fractions. I think most of us could work out that four and five would divide into six leaving fractions, so they're not the divisors. One, two and three are. If you add one, two and three up, you get six. That makes it a perfect number because it is equal to the sum of its own divisors. Now, I've made it sound a bit too simple. I'll give you another example. 28, 1, 2, 4, 7 and 14 add up to 28. Both of those two discovered by Pythagoras. Roman numerals, no computers. He's doing a bloody good job. He's found 6. He's found 28. He thinks these things are lovely. I like these. They're perfect. I'll have a look for more of them. He spends the whole of the rest of his life looking for a third perfect number and he never bloody finds one. He dies only having having found 6 and 28. <laughs> but other mathematicians, they think, bloody hell, if Pythagoras was looking for them, I bet they're out there, they'll have a look as well. They all stop looking. The search goes on for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years. All the way into the Middle Ages, they've still only found 6 and 28. Eventually, they think, ah, fuck it, maybe it is just 6 and 28. <laughs> they try to apply some deep religious significance to that, because God took six days to make the Earth, and the Earth takes 28 days to turn. But that turns out to be a load of rubbish, because the third perfect number is 496, and that Bruce Cockle. Now, the fourth perfect number is 8,128, and the fifth perfect number is 33,550,336. That's how rare they are. You've got to count all the way past 33 and a half million before you found five of the buggers. They're very rare, they're very lovely, they are perfect. Now, as well as your perfect numbers, we were studying these things called friendly numbers, and I'll just explain that very briefly. Basically, <laughs> friendly numbers are a bit like your perfect numbers, except Except they hang around in pairs, yeah? It's like an Anton Deck of the number world. Wherever they go, that's another one always hanging out with him. What it is, the divisors of the first one, they're equal to the second one, and the divisors of the second one, they're equal to the first one. So, for example, 220 and 284 are friendly numbers because the divisors of 284, that's 1, 2, 4, 71, 142, are equal to 220, and the divisors of 220, that's 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, 11, 20, 22, 44, 55, and 110 are equal to 284. You don't need me to tell you that. Now, <laughs> As well as your perfect numbers and your friendly numbers, we're studying these things called sociable numbers, right? <laughs> I'll just explain them very briefly what it is. They're like your friendly numbers, except they're even bloody friendlier, yeah? It's like a little stag do in a minibus going off to Europe for the weekend. There's loads of them. They hang around in gangs. What it is, the first one's divisors are equal to the second one, that one's divisors are equal to the third one, that one's divisors are equal to the fourth one, and so on, all the way through your chain, until you get to the last number. That one's divisors are equal to the very first number. Now, obviously, you can get a loop of three, four, five, numbers long, but the longest loop anyone's found so far is a 28-number loop starting at 14,316, and obviously you could work out the other numbers from there. So, <laughs> there we are, we're studying this stuff, your perfect numbers, your friendly numbers, your sociable numbers. At the end of one of our lectures, the lecturer is trying to be a bit savvy with his students, you know the sort. He picks up his briefcase to leave. As he gets to the door, he turns to us all and says, so, maybe some of you will try being a little bit sociable yourselves this evening. Off he goes. I'm a first year, I'm naive. I unwisely clutch hold of the conversational thread the lecturer has left angling. I turn to my fellow students and say, Oh, does anyone fancy going down the pub for a pint tonight? And they all went, Nah, fuck off. <laughs> and that's why I dropped out. <laughs> it's a shame, really. I find the whole subject fascinating, but what can you do?